Hello. Welcome back. I don't remember what any of the running jokes were about what this podcast is, but this is a podcast. Yep. And I am a pod, and you're a cast. What? Welcome to the real cast fishing cast, (laughs) where we talk about fish and their stories. And today we're talking about a fish story. Uh, okay. I, I I only about halfway through that understood where it was going and I was like, "Oh." All right. If, so now now that now that the joke has been made, if everybody wants a little peek behind the curtain, um I did not intend for that joke to go there. I was just going to joke about this being a fishing podcast. And then it just so happened We can't that tell it them worked. that. No. Well, no, it's, it's this is this is that real Patreon exclusive content that right here. It's not on Patreon. <laughs> well, I'm going to cut out that 10 seconds of that explanation. <laughs> and if you subscribe to us at 69 cents or more per month on Patreon, <laughs> you will get to know the explanation for that joke right there. Is that real? Can what? they subscribe to us for 69 cents on Patreon? I, I think the minimum is a dollar. Oh. I don't know. That's sad. It should be 69 we cents. We can do though. a dollar 69. Yeah. And then 420. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for the higher tier. All right. Everybody comment below if you want us to start a Patreon uh, with a dollar 69 and 420. As um, our tiers. As our tiers. <laughs> and then 690. As, and, uh, and then 690, and, but also 6969. True. That's the top one. Yeah, that's, that's the top one. Yeah. That's like you're a super fan. Ooh. A super duper fan. Central. <laughs> so, do you want to do you want to describe this movie? Do you, um, should I describe I didn't, this movie? I didn't bring my phone, so I, I don't you. have any like. I got you. Descriptor. I I don't mind describing it, but I got you though for the information. The technical information. Yeah, I don't know any of that. Fish Story is a 2009 Japanese movie directed by Yoshihiro Nakamura and uh, based on a novel written by Kotaro Isaka. Um, and we were both like, who is this director? What do we recognize him from? He's got like two dozen movies under his belt. Dark Tales of Japan. <laughs> the greatest anthology series of all time. I mean, truly, it was good. It was good. It's it's a good Halloween watch. It was, yeah. It's great. Yeah. But that's how we knew the director. Yep. It just so happened. It's, it's... I was like how we were like looking through the filmography. No, no. no I don't recognize no, any of these. No, And then it was like other or whatever, I, whatever <laughs> yes. it said. Dark Tales, Tales of, of Japan. Japan. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> ah, it all makes sense now. So, so what is, do you want to describe the movie itself? Fish Story? Yes. Um, it's, oh, it's about, I, this, <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> I, okay. Fish Story is about how a single song prevents the end of humanity yeah yeah and that song is baby by justin bieber baby baby <laughs> have we done that every single time i swear we have probably um, probably but yeah it's um uh, i guess do you want to talk about it yeah are you ready yeah um i guess did, did you okay did you have anything that you wanted to like jump off with i mean i was just gonna say that it was a really fun movie. Yeah. And I think if you haven't watched it, you should watch it. Yes. Which, didn't we find it on, like, Archive? It's, it's on archive.org. Yeah. Um, shouts out archive.org in their lawsuit against the book publishers that are trying to stop uh, digital book lending. That's 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 bullshit. Yeah. Uh, We're not going to go into that. I, I am. I don't, I don't want to be <laughs> no. sad. No. Uh, yeah. But it's on, it's on Archive, uh, at least as of this recording, um, because as far as we could tell... It was not streaming anywhere, at least in the U.S., um, but it is subtitled on there, and it's great. Yeah. Um, Honestly, yeah. like, if I have to... And that's the episode. <laughs> a, like, akin this to something, it reminded me a lot of Who's Camus anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I said that while we were watching it. You did. Um, you, like, every five minutes, you just said it. Yeah, I just I kept like... saying it over and over. And you never elaborated. No, and... <laughs> I, I don't intend to elaborate now. <laughs> <laughs> elaborate that's it, that's, on that that's... no <laughs> um 
That's the end of the episode. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Thanks for our 6969 patrons. Uh, <laughs> come back next week uh, when we're talking about Fish Chronicle. Yep. <laughs> the, the sequel in IMAX only. Uh, <laughs> but no, this was good. It was um, it, it was kind of like um. Like it was like who's Camus anyway in the sense of like you didn't have all the information, yeah, right. And then it was also like Memento, mm-hmm. and how it was kind of like working backwards almost. Mm-hmm. It was really cool. Yeah, I, it was. I will admit, like there were a couple parts where I got a little confused because mm-hmm. like it started off being like nineteen eighty four, yeah, you know, yeah. nineteen seventy five, right. But then like it stopped doing Later, that. It, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I, I see what you mean. Because I, I think it's, it, if I if I recall correctly, it's five different stories. I think so. And they're all interwoven around, like, before, during, and after the creation of this song. Then the song is called Fish Story. Mm-hmm. And it's from an album called Fish Story by a Japanese punk band that, like, they only put out the one album at least on a major label and then like disappeared completely and so it's completely non-chronological and each of the different sections has an almost entirely different cast and it'll just jump around between uh like the 50s and i think 2012 is the most recent one um and it just goes back and forth and back and forth all across all of them just yeah, talking about the creation of the song and then all the if like repercussions of that song. The song having been made. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I really liked it structurally. Yes. Because it's very weird. Mm-hmm. Um I don't think we've ever covered anything on this show that structurally is that messed up. Cuz like who's coming anyway definitely it is very in terms linear. of well, but in terms of the number of characters, yes, yes, and how it takes time to follow each of them, like it's absolutely the same way, and how it like holds information from you until the end. Exactly, yeah, like totally. This is like takes that a step further, and also does it temporally, mm-hmm. so that it's not just the people, but it's the time in which it's occurring. It's all over the place. Yeah, it was it's, fun. It was good. It's very funny. Yeah, um, it, w- it was funny. It was entertaining. Like it was, it really held my attention. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm glad that we watched it. Yeah. I think anybody should watch it if yeah. you haven't seen it. It's a very, it's a very surprisingly feel good movie. Yeah. I would say. Yeah, for sure. It's a very hopeful movie. Yeah. Because it is about the end of the world, uh, to an extent and how people handle that mm-hmm. and why things ended up the way that they did. Uh, when spoilers for anyone who wasn't around in 2012 uh hello nine-year-olds who are listening to the show uh <laughs> the world didn't end in 2012 so uh you know there was a new dimension created like a yeah secondary time loop <laughs> i don't know if anybody heard that but one of the cats is yowling screaming in the other room <laughs> um but yeah so <laughs> she's giving her commentary as well mm-hmm. Um, is there anything specific that you wanted to talk about? Because I feel like this one is going to be really short of just telling people to go watch it because it's so good. Mm. I think that one of my thing, one of my favorite things about this movie is it really helped to encapsulate a feeling that I've had my entire life mm-hmm. um, that I I seem to come up against with people I talk with, um, and I think that kind of comes through in how we talk about movies on this show yeah we hate Um, them we we absolutely hate movies Uh we don't know why we're doing this no we actually just want to die yeah (laughs) (laughs) um no just kidding totally a joke but um but yeah i i i think there's this like discussion often about whether or not something is good you know, in air yes. quotes, like, yes. is it good? Is it like in terms of art. In terms of art. Yes. And I've had I've had the discussion numerous times with uh, multiple different people, and, and you know, everybody has their own opinion and like a different way to interpret things. But I generally pretty much see everything and anything mm-hmm. as potentially art, and oh yeah, and potentially being good. Yeah. And I really, I really. 
And I feel like whenever somebody creates something, it is, it's self-made, mm-hmm. you know, like it's, it's done for the self. Yeah. And, and it, it can be done for other people. And o- often, especially if it's going to be released in any form or fashion, mm-hmm. it, it ends up being, becoming part of for other people. But ultimately, like, I don't really understand creating something mm-hmm. if you're not doing it for yourself. Oh, absolutely. And I really, I really liked the way that this movie encapsulated that feeling mm-hmm. of this band, you know, just like, they, they, you know, almost like before their time, basically. Yeah, yeah. And they all knew that they were great, mm-hmm. but they just had so much pushback and mm-hmm. like all this like bullshit right. from producers and, you know, all the people in the music industry. And then finally, they're just like, well, fuck it. Yeah. You know, like we're going to do what we want to do. And I I really liked that because I think that's what art should be and should always be. And this whole like mindset, I think, kind of somewhat developed by the university system mm-hmm. of like it has to be a certain way. Oh, yeah. Or it has to like meet certain criteria mm-hmm. in order to be art. Like, I don't agree with that. Mm-hmm. I think almost anything can be art. I mean... Yeah. Ultimately, anything can be art, but there, you know, it it does it doesn't have to be, mm-hmm. of course. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I think this movie had, did a really good job of like, kind of putting that on display in a different way, and I really appreciated that. Yeah, yeah, because obviously, like, we, because I don't I don't think this is really spoiling anything because we already talked about the structure of the movie, but. Like you're saying, I, honestly, probably h- half the movie is spent in the time of the song's creation and, like, the album that it's on, mm-hmm. the, the creation of that. And so, like, half of the movie, it's their their producer and, to an extent, their manager trying to tell them, like, not to do stuff. Um, and them giving giving equal pushback and being like, no, no, we're going we're gonna to do what we want to do. But then the other half of the movie is spent with people one to three decades later Mm. or one to four decades later like actually having being impacted by that thing that that was so ahead of its time in this case that song and yeah no i i love that i i love that because i agree with you i've encountered a lot of the same thing um especially with with movies and with music in particular Mm -hmm. Because I'm, I don't really, I don't do visual art and I don't really understand visual art, like how it works and things like that. So I've never really had any discussions with people about that. But with film and with music, people seem to have a, a very strict sense of these criteria need to be met and like these components need to exist within the, the movie or within the piece of music or within the creation of the piece of music or the movie. Mm-hmm. And if those things aren't met, then that doesn't count. It's not real. It's bad. Which, I'm just going to say it, in my mind, mm-hmm. that's a very colonizer mindset. I mean, no, it is. That it, is it, a very, like, like, very white yeah, way of looking yeah. at the world. Because there is music... Oh, God, yes. ...everywhere. Yeah. And the way you interpret it mm-hmm. and the way... That it has value Mm -hmm. changes Mm -hmm. depending on everything. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's yeah yeah very colonizer mindset. Well, and let's like if if I can if I can extrapolate that to movies like I'm I'm just gonna be honest with you I fucking love the room like unironically at this point I've Mm -hmm. watched it so many times and over the like probably 10 years that I've known about it because I think it was 2012 when it was starting to get really popular online Mm -hmm. is when I first learned about it like initially of course my exposure to it was ironic and it was like oh this is so bad this is so bad everything like that but when I look at stuff like that that's made by basically outsider artists like people who don't Mm -hmm. quote unquote understand how to make art yeah over time, I've I've gotten such a huge appreciation for that movie or movies like Who Killed Captain Alex. Yeah, I was going to say anything. That the reason that people are usually introduced to them are because of the irony of look at how bad this movie is. But it's only 
bad in the sense that it doesn't match up to those expectations. Mm-hmm, exactly. And that's, I don't know, that's just my, that that's, that's and, my take on and that. And like having, I mean, if you need or want to view the world through filters. Yeah, of course. Created by other people. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Like that. That's your prerogative. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if you are like, oh, I went to film school and this is what they told me and this is how I learned it. Or, oh, I, you know, I know music and I this is how I've learned music. Like, if that's how you want to be, you do you. Mm -hmm. That's great. However. Yeah. I don't think there needs to be this, like, almost religious push for the quote unquote right way Mm -hmm. for things to be done. Mm hmm. It's just uncalled for. Well, and it's it's almost to to an extent some of the people that I've interacted with who have held those types of beliefs and who have been very vocal about them. Mm. It's almost to the point of being evangelical where yes. they need to tell me how bad the things that I like are. <laughs> yes. They, they need to tell me why <laughs> the things that I like are not good. And it, it, it's it's like. It's okay to disagree. Yeah. It's it's okay. It really is. It's really, it is A-okay to feel different mm-hmm. and to be like, you know, I don't agree with that, but I still respect that you have that opinion. Mm-hmm. That's okay. Yeah. And I think, like, this movie that's made me feel good mm-hmm. because it was like, this, this is what I've tried, this is how I've been trying to say it. Like, right. this put to, like, visual and like movie format perspective of like this is why quote unquote anything can Mm -hmm. be art like yeah absolutely and i think too um so so definitely if if you're somebody who's in the same camp as us on that where like you are an artist or you really like art by like outsider artist or i don't know just you like weird shit and when, uh, when i say art i don't mean like brush no 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 paint. no no. just i mean like music movies, media yeah video games like all kinds of stuff right books this movie is definitely for you because it's all about i mean it's all about a song and an album that fall into that type of category it, it's it's about <clears throat> why art is so important yes well and that's what i was going to say too is that it's inspirational in the sense that it doesn't just follow the creation it also follows the legacy exactly and if you're kind of a tangential thing if you're into like obscure media or like lost media or stuff like that it kind of plays off of that too because this song uh fish story is so obscure and like so few people have heard it but the people who've heard it are deeply impacted by it Mm -hmm. but so few people have heard it that there are a bunch of just, like, urban legends about it. Yeah. About its creation or about, like, it being cursed well, or and there, there things is, like that. There is even technically lost media in the, in the movie. movie. Yeah, yeah. So it, it is... It's great. It is a really fun movie. It was really, really cool. And, it, like, it was a two-hour runtime, mm-hmm. so it was, like, very easy to watch. Oh, like, yeah. Not like uh, <laughs> some of the other stuff that we've oh my gosh. talked about. <laughs> yeah. It's and not... it, it, it's well-paced, too. Oh, definitely. Like, it definitely very well balances having five different stories Mm -hmm. because it spends just enough time with each of them and then like leaves you on a sort of cliffhanger so that you want to go back to it Mm -hmm. and then it gives you enough time with the next one that you want to know you know so it it, it flies by it was cute yeah yeah it's a good movie it's great um yeah go check it out (laughs) I think that's all we have to say about that one. I think so. Um, this is probably a really short one, but uh, yeah, you can argue with us in the comments about because how <laughs> we know you will. <laughs> yeah, about how uh, art is um, objective and we are wrong. <laughs> uh, you can. I will never get over that. <laughs> the, the objective art thing. Oh my god. Uh, you can comment below. How uh, Duchamp's uh, The Fountain is, you know, like a hundred and something years later still an example of why true art is dead. uh, Because people always love to bring that one up when you you try to talk about, you know, objective and subjective art. Uh, It's great. It'll be good. Uh, if, If you're on YouTube, don't forget, 
We also have been posting these on Spotify, so if you want to listen on there and you can subscribe and you'll get a little notification, it'll be great. Uh, if you're on Spotify, we have an entire channel on YouTube that should be linked in the description, and there's tons of other content on there that is not on here, including almost five years worth of video essays. And an essay about who's Camus anyway. It, and an essay about who's Camus anyway. Definitely go check that one out, because that's a great movie too. Mm -hmm. And that one is... I think that one's a little difficult to get uh, as well, but it's it's worth it. It's good. It's good. It's by the same guy who did Godspeed You Black Emperor. Uh, if you're if also anybody's good. a fan of that one, yeah. <laughs> I don't think we we've never covered that. We should cover that one at some point. Yeah, it's yeah, good. Yeah. It's it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, you got anything else you want to say? Uh. No. All right. And with that. <laughs> all right. Thanks everybody for listening, and we'll see you next week with a very spicy mm, topic video. Is it like, is it fishy? <sighs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> <laughs>